Hello everyone, welcome to this video. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your G keys on Corsair keyboard. So now I'm using Windows 10 and what you'll need to do is you'll need to download this software. You'll need to download it from their website and I'm going to open their website now. So what you'll need to do is open a browser and type in Corsair.com and when you open Corsair.com, it will look like this. Then you'll need to click on software, then click on download software and make sure you download this one all right right here. So it says Corsair. IQ and this is the latest version so just one click on this button right here so when you click on it it will show you this you can just click on or skip this step and start download all right so you don't need to enter your information and you will need to download it and simply install it all right because I already have installed it I'm going to open it so let me get here all right so now it will look like this you should see your keyboard right here so when first you open it it will look like this so this is the software that you need to open then what you'll need to do is you should see your keyboard right here and this is my keyboard now so if I just click here I'll see all of these options right here and right here as you notice it says actions so these are the actions and these are macros so macros are sets of actions that you create and you assign it to a specific key all right so these are the G keys that I have all right and I, I already have made this macro so to create a macro what you'll need to do is you'll need to click on this plus right here so when you click on that as you notice it says macro one and right here as you notice it says record settings and macro is right here if I click on record it will record all of the all of the things that I'm doing on the keyboard all right so for example and I say hello all all right so I just typed that in as you notice it has recorded all of it then you can assign this macro to a specific key that you have and these are the G keys so I'm going to assign this to maybe G6 all the way down there all right so now if I open a notepad so this is the notepad now whenever I press G6 it will type that in I've made that extra either all right when I type so now if I press G6 again it will type that again space press G6 it will type that again all right so this is the part where you record everything so now as you notice right here it records everything and I'm going to delete this now I've deleted the actions now what I can do is I can change this macro to a uh, to something else so you can use az keys you can uh, use the num and symbol keys enhance keys etc all right so what you can do is it's up to you what you want to choose and what macro you want to create so once again to create a macro what you do is you move your mouse over this plus and when you click on that it will create a new macro and you can double click here and name the macro if you want that's optional and then right here what you can do is if you press record macro it will record everything that you do on the keyboard you press record macro it will record it so say hello all right space all so I just typed in hello all and as you notice it has recorded everything. So now what I can do is I can assign this macro to a button. So this is my keyboard and these are the buttons. So I'm going to assign this to G5. Now I have that assigned. Now if I just press G5 here, if I press G5 now, as you notice it will type hello and it will put a space there and all. All right. So now one more time press it again so as you notice yeah it has written or typed that in all right so this is how you can use the g keys on corsair keyboard if you have any questions please let me know please like my video and subscribe to my youtube channel and i will see you all in the upcoming videos